Hello! In this video, I'm going to explain how to build OpenSea grid maps using Copelesim and the grid map plugin for Copelesim. This is a plugin that I have created to show how to build OpenSea grid maps. In the video description, I have included information about how to get this plugin. I recommend you to watch the video explaining about OpenSea grid maps if you don't know how they work, particularly because I'm going to assume that you know about OpenSea grid maps when I talk about the parameters of the plugin. The aims of the presentation are, on the one hand, to explain how to configure Copilisim to be able to use grid map plugin and to build maps of an environment. I will explain the plugin's API so that you know how to use it and, particularly, I will describe the required parameters to make it work, as well as the information that the plugin provides to you. To start with this lab session, I will, um, or we will start with uh, from the results that we obtained from a previous lab session about uh, performing the trajectory, uh, the tracking of trajectories using the Pioneer P3DX robot. In the video description, I have included a file with all necessary elements to carry out the trajectory tracking. I also include a link to the video where I mention all the maths behind the trajectory tracking implementation provided in the script. The purpose is to build a map of the environment as the robot moves along the path. As a consequence, I also provide the functions to read data from the laser sensor. Bear in mind that in this video, the robot's movement is totally independent from the laser data. What you do with the, ma with the map uh, that you have built is something that we will see later in other videos, such as, for instance, using it for uh, motion planning or avoiding obstacles. So in order to build a map, the robot must move through a suitable environment. You must therefore build an environment and modify the route so that the robot moves around the environment. My recommendation is that you use part of the elements that Copelius Sim includes, such as office objects and many others, to build the environment and adapt it to your own convenience together with the route, so that the robot can detect all elements in the environment with the laser sensor. Here I show you an example of what I have created for this purpose. Yours can be even simpler. Here I show how the plugin that I'm going to, or I'm about to describe uh, how it works. Okay, uh, as you can see, the robot builds the map incrementally as far as, or as as long as it moves from room to room. The cells in the map that are uh, drawn in black are occupied cells, while the cells uh, or the free cells are painted in white. The cells that do not have any or we don't have any information are colored in gray. Keep in mind that the laser sensor, as it works in Copelesim, only returns points if uh, an object is detected, which means that if the object is below the maximum distance uh, associated with this laser sensor, then we will get a point. Otherwise, we don't get any information about the environment and therefore this point or this information is not included in the map. And that's why you can see that despite of the robot is moving on a big area, the, the map is not updated. After several, uh, or after, after a time, you can see that we could be able to uh, successfully build a map. Now I, I will explain how the plugin works. As you probably know, Copilly Sims allows you to create your own plugins that you can compile with Qt. After compiling the plugin, a dynamic library is generated that you must copy into the folder that contains Copilia Sim binary. In Windows, uh, you will need to copy the DLL file, while in Linux and Mac OS, you must copy the SO or DYLIB file, respectively. Once copied, you can check that the plugin has been detected properly if, after starting Copilia Sim, the console shows the indicated message. The plugin API that I have created is rather quite simple, and it has an initialization function that allows you to allocate memory that must be called inside the syscall init function. By default, the map will be an empty map, although you can load an existing map from a BM or bitmap file that you have previously uh, saved or created. If you load the map, you have to take into account that when you created that map, you have to also use the same parameters during the initialization of the map. Because there's no metadata, such as, for instance, the, the cell size, safe in the map file. The, 
update map laser will um, allow you to update the map based on the information that we receive from the laser sensor and its position, obviously. After finishing the simulation, you must release the allocated memory by calling the release function at the syscall cleanup uh, function of the uh, Copelisim script. Before that, we might be interested in saving the map using the save map function to use it, let's say, for uh, later use. The plugin also includes two auxiliary functions such as getMap and getPoints. The first one returns the coupon grid map and the second one returns the points uh, of the cells that, has, that are occupied. Both functions can be useful uh, for later purposes such as motion planning or avoiding obstacles. Next, I will explain uh, the input and output arguments of each of the functions. So let's start with the init function that accepts two input arguments. The first one uh, are the basic the parameters of the algorithm, while the second one is an argument that allows us to control if we want to display the map in a separate window or not. Here I indicate the order of the parameters that this function expects, as well as a brief description of them, and I even in, uh, also indicate the units of each of the parameters in case they have units, obviously. On the one hand, you need to provide the parameters that define the size and the resolution of the map. You also need to provide parameters that define the minimum and maximum probabilities for each cell in the map. And also you need to provide parameters that determine the maximum distance that you, you will uh, use uh, for your laser sensor as well as its accuracy, its precision, because we use that for a ray tracing to know which are the affected list of um, cells for a specific ray. The last set of parameters, as you can see, are related with the probabilistic model of the sensor. And what I recommend you is to watch a video explaining about occupancy grid maps, as I said before, if you want to have a better understanding on how these parameters work. Okay. So on the other hand, also the release function does not accept in this case any argument, so you just simply can call it with the parentheses. And this usually it's called uh, to free uh, the memory reserved by the init function, and this has to be done in the syscall cleanup function as mentioned before. The save map function allows you to save the map results in a bitmap file. Then this map can be retrieved and uh, used when you use the load map function. In both cases, what you need is the file name to load or to save with the bitmap uh, associated to that bitmap file that you are going to use. And this is usually located in the plugin binary folder. The getMap and getPoints functions allow you to obtain information about the map and they can be used for, as I said, for many other purposes. So the getMap function returns a map, which is just basically a matrix uh, or a table in a matrix form with the values of the cells uh, of the occupancy grid map. If you provide um, the, the input argument, the p-threshold input argument, then the return map will be uh, a binarized map. So we use this uh, threshold to binarize and then the, the values of the table will be values be true or false, being occupied or not occupied. Moreover, uh, also the getPoints function returns the coordinates of occupied cells. In this case, both functions, they use the, the, this threshold and this should be a probability between 0 and 1. But obviously, uh, it is expected that this value is higher than 0 0.5. Finally, the update map laser function is the one that does all the dirty work in order to update the map based on the laser information and its position. This function must be split uh, or typically uh, used within the syscall sensing function once you have uh, your laser update. Well, in this video, I have explained how to use Coppelia Sim grid map plugin to, in, order, in order to create occupancy grid maps. Thank you very much.